Hi everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video today. So, I actually just uh, literally 10 minutes ago got back from uh, traveling back from Virginia, visiting family for Thanksgiving. Uh, I have quite the few packages here that I know I, I'm not trying to show anything. Um, <laughs> I know um, I wanna reuse these boxes for packing some stuff tomorrow. So I'm just gonna go ahead, open some of these. I think I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have about seven here and I think I have like four others that are, I think somewhere, I don't know. I was told they were placed somewhere else, so. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. I forgot to say hello, I am Cole over at Kitschy Flower. Be sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I upload on the weekly. So, okay. so this first one, honestly, I have no idea. I ordered a bunch of stuff uh, while I was in Virginia just because I knew I wasn't shopping as much because in Virginia, a lot of things are closed the week of Thanksgiving. Um, I was really only able to go to thing or antique stores on Tuesday. So, uh, wasn't able to do any of that, but I did buy a bunch of things for resale offline uh, since I saw there were some sales going on. So I'm excited. Without further ado, here is the first box. Of course, I should preference, I am gonna be reusing all the boxes and packaging. Uh, reduce, reuse, recycle, but first off, Oh my goodness, we have a rubber-faced little chipmunk. Look at how adorable he is. I believe he's a My Toy or a Tim Fly. I don't know. Never mind. I don't know what he is. But basically, I'll be doing a rest restoration on this guy, and he will be. Uh, he'll either be at an upcoming live sale or in my Etsy shop. So I don't know. He might be in. I might pull him to a um, a live sale and if he doesn't sell, I'll probably put him on my Etsy shop. So first little guy opened, super cute. I do believe I got that guy off of Mercari. Uh, I do, I do believe that's where I got him from. All right, so next package, let's get it open. Kind of a taller, longer box. But I had such a nice time visiting family in Virginia. It was my, I was staying at my grandparents and uh, my two cousins came in town. And well, actually I should say three cousins plus um, one of my cousin's wives or wife and, um, and five tiny children. So it was definitely a packed house over there, but it was a lot of fun. I'm really, I don't know. I'm really grateful being able to see family. Uh, it was a very nice treat. So, all right, another package. What shall it be today? Yeah, today was such a long day. I think we left around like 10. We were supposed to get home at like 5.30 and it, I think, just turned eight. So it was a very, very, very long day. Okay, cool. I think this next one is going to be a vintage Barbie. Okay, groovy. All right, awesome. All right, so we have a vintage bubble cup Barbie. Really, really sweet. Uh, so she came with her original outfit. She came with her, her original glasses, shoes, and pamphlet. So, uh, I thought she was quite sweet. I'll probably end up putting her, I'll probably swap out her body since her body is in a little bit dire, dire shape, I should say. I don't know, I actually might swap her out for one of the ones in my own personal collection, uh, just because, I don't know. I have a couple of um, the bubble cut style Barbies and I have a bunch of them in some like full on evening gowns and such. So they're pretty much covered up anyways. So personally for me, I don't, 
I like having one or two really nice pristine Barbies, but for the most part, I usually sell the Barbies that are in the best shape, uh, just because I know I can get the most for, and honestly, at me as a collector, I don't mind if uh, some of my Barbies uh, have imperfections or, you know, are a little bit rough around the edges. Uh, for me, I just really like having having them. But as for other toys in my collection, I do prefer them to be very pristine. But for the most part, Barbies, I don't mind having ones a little beaten up. But I honestly really just bought her because she had the sunglasses and heels. I'm not gonna lie. I got her at a really good price. Um, so happy I got her. She's quite the fun one. All right, and so let's see what else we have today. But yeah, I did do a fair share of shopping uh, last, or I guess this week, uh, yes, on Tuesday when I first got into Virginia. Well, actually I got there Monday, but Tuesday everything was open. Uh, anyways, but yeah, I found a lot of good things that kind of like my go-to places I stop in. I tried to venture out this past time into some new places I haven't really shopped, but that didn't end up working out. Let me not throw this knife. <clears throat> Let me not wave the knife around. But uh, those spots didn't end up working out because they were all closed and it really made me sad. All the kind of locations uh, near my grandmother's house were open on Tuesday, but I tried to hit up kind of ones closer to the Charlottesville area. And I think I went to Scotts, I think Scottsville, or maybe it was Scottsboro, I don't know. Uh, local Virginians tell me in the comments. Um, but yeah, they were closed unfortunately Tuesday. So I ended up just hitting up all my local spots, which it really ended up paying off in the long run. I found some awesome stuff. Okay, this. I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know what I've ordered. Thank you. Oh, cute. A little Archie comic. Oh, yes. I do know what this is. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. All right. So I actually ordered some custom um, light switch plates. So this one is actually going to be going up in my room. Um, I have a whole wall of big eyed prints. So I saw this on Etsy and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. This one isn't a Margaret Keene, it's an Eve, um, kind of like a, a dupe for the Keens back in the day, but I absolutely loved it since I know, uh, you can see I have a lot of pink accents in my room. I thought it would play off really well. So I got this one. Thank you, thank you. Oh yay, and then I got this terrific one. Uh, this one will obviously be going in my mermaid bathroom. So really kitschy, really nautical. I'm really excited about those. Uh, I will actually be leaving the info to her Etsy shop or their Etsy shop um, in the link below if you are interested in getting some cute light switch holders. She actually made a couple of other products in the big eyed print. Um, Absolutely love those. Yay. <clears throat> but yeah, I, that's one of my birthday presents to myself. Not gonna lie. This one. All right, let's open this one up. I don't know what it is either. But I'm excited. I love opening packages. <laughs> and I know like unboxing videos were really popular kind of a couple years ago, but I still like doing them, so. You know, you, oh my gosh, yay. Okay, so this was actually my, pretty much like my big birthday present to myself, which I mean, granted it was, you know, I definitely paid retail for it, but this is definitely what I wanted to buy myself for my birthday. It's been something that I've been hunting for four years. I've kind of always been into Twiggy, I mean, that's spoiler alert, but I've always been into Twiggy and I've always been into like, uh, I don't know, anything big eyed related. So when I originally saw this back in the day on like 
Pinterest or maybe Flickr, honestly. Um, that tells you how back it goes, but I finally, oh my gosh, I finally scored a Twiggy Fashion Tote. Twiggy Fashion Tote, I do believe came out in 67. Uh, it was actually part of uh, Mattel's collaboration with Twiggy. Uh, they actually came out with a fashion doll Twiggy, which I actually have a couple of and even one in box. Um, I, yeah, I love her. She's one of my favorite dolls. That was when I mentioned, you know, I'm not super, you know, strict on having pristine dolls. Twiggy is one of the exceptions. I love my Twiggy doll. And then I also have like the Twiggy mannequin head and other stuff. But anyways, Mattel, this was part of the Twiggy line that they came out in the mod 60s. Uh, this one is in absolute pristine, great shape. I am in love with it. Uh, I, like I had mentioned, I've been hunting one of these for ages. I did end up paying about retail for it, um, but I was happy to because this one, a lot of times you see like uh, kind of ripping around the, the zipper vinyl and kind of on the inside, but this one is really, really pristine and beautiful. I am just so excited to have this one in my collection. Oh my gosh. I was actually talking to my friend Crystal and um, she was telling me how uh, when she got her first Twiggy tote, it was a birthday gift to herself. So I don't know, it made it a little bit more special. I, I do believe. So Twiggy case finally found. Uh, there is a white version that I'm on the hunt for uh, eventually, but for right now, I am just my heart, my like teenage heart. Cause I swear I wanted this, I think probably since I was like 14 or 15, I think. So I'm like 25, oof, just turned 25. I'm 25 now. So I've been wanting, you know, this case for a very, very long time. So I found one in the right shape. So, I mean, I don't know if you're anything like me, I like trying to find things out in the wild. Um, you know, I, it just makes it a lot more special for me, but I, it was, I never find Twiggy stuff out in the wild, unfortunately. So I ended up buying, buying her for myself. So I'm really happy. Uh, and there was also a treasure, a treasure, um, little treasure box diary like holder, which that's also on my list. And then they had like, um, I believe there was more than one versions of the lunchbox. I do believe. But anyways, next package. Sorry if I'm a little low energy in this video. Like I said, I've been in the car for like eight hours. Ah! Okay, we have some Kittles. Oh my gosh. I lucked out and bought a Kittle doll lot. So they had some clones. <laughs> they had some busted gals to craft with. Uh, even some Kittle accessories. Uh, again, these are also made by Mattel, actually pretty much in the same, same time zone that the Twiggy was um, made. Ooh, and then we have her. She is absolutely gorgeous. So these Kittles, with the exception of, I think, one, will all be up for grabs um, in either future live sales or uh, Etsy. So I'm actually trying to... Okay, so this one is going to be the one I'm keeping for myself just because I don't have her in my collection. And if you didn't already know, I do collect Kittles. So... Uh, I'm happy to find the sweet treats. Little gal, kind of picks her up, but here she is. Still with her original stand and even her little stand on the inside. So I am keeping her from my own collection. She was kind of like a birthday treat to myself. Uh, but the rest of these, if, you know, if they're good enough to be um, sold, uh, obviously this one will be, you know, crafted with, probably made into an ornament of sorts. But all of this will be for sale. I should just put this. Alright, so let's put that over here. And then we had the ah, 
as I drop things. Uh, then we have the, oh my gosh, I can't pick it up. Uh, then we have the tiny little tote. Really, really cute. Little kittles. I love these guys. Uh, made by Mattel uh, in the 60s. These are just really, really fantastic. And the great, oh my gosh, okay. Little mini tiny kittles. So this was like a jewelry girl. Uh, then we have the little brunette, really sweet on her. Uh, I do believe she's a little clone, really cute. Another little clone. The clones I either, I, most of the time I end up um, crafting with the clones. Ooh, another nurse girl. I actually have her in my own collection, so she'll be up for sale. Uh, then we have a little, I do believe it was a Kittle Cola. Um, I think this one is Shirley Temple. I, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. If there is a Kittle aficionado in the chat. And then of course, I do believe her name's Lola. Really cute. I actually have her in my own collection as well. So all of these will be up for grabs, except, you know, the Kittle's treat for sure. So really fun. I love a good Kittle. When I can find them for a good price, I pick them up. <clears throat> All right, so another box. I do believe I'm thinking this box is going to be filled with pixie elves. At least I'm hoping it's going to be. Uh, I, again, found a lot of uh, pixie elves for a really great price. So I'm assuming, yes, that is what we have today. All right, so we have a great assortment of Knee Hugger. Awesome little guys. Look at her, little marionette, little pixie Knee Hugger. And all of these are going to be for sale in upcoming, in an upcoming sale. Um, aw, this one is marked 1971. Look at her. I've never seen her before. Hope my lighting setup is okay today. Um, you're like kind of propped up on a vintage display of oh, this cute little nylon winged one. Really, really sweet. So yeah, all of these are gonna be up for sale. I think I'll probably, I think there's one in yellow I'm planning on keeping just because I like to keep the ones that um, aren't in traditional Christmas colors so I can kind of keep them up all year round. Here's another one. So I do believe there's a yellow, okay, yeah. So I'll be keeping this one uh, just because I think he's adorable. He has a little flower and I don't have this one in my collection. So he's gonna be living with me. All the rest of them will be um, available for new homes. Really sweet. Little Santa guy. I love these. These are some of my favorite. Ooh, and this one's really awesome. This one is a chenille knee hugger. Ooh, I don't see these guys all too often at all. That's fun. He's cool. So yay, yay, yay. And then another larger one. So I do believe it was, let's count. Let's count folks. Okay, so we have one knee hugger, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think there's 13 or 14 of them. But yes, my little my little stash and knee huggers coming to a sale near you sometime soon. All right, and so then we have at least the last box I have located. Okay, so I do believe this one's gonna be a fun one too. This one is another, this one might be another birthday present to myself, I'm not gonna lie. I do like, <laughs> you know, I'm not huge on celebrating my birthday, um, but I am big on buying myself a birthday present. So uh, obviously the Twiggy bag was one. And then this one was another one. A wonderful follower on TikTok 
uh, linked me to a video of a fellow reseller who uh, had something, something I might have just liked, uh, but you know, I she I wasn't new to, or familiar to her. I'll actually be leaving her info in the bio below. It is Whimsy Barn. Thank you so much, Whimsy Barn. I appreciate it. Yay, yay, yay. But um, but yeah. So I reached out, uh, sent them a message, seeing if this was still a, or available. And of course they said yes. So I somehow scored a Rushton, you guys. One I don't have in my own collection. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look. Okay, so we have a Rushton Star creation, even still with tags. So he's the smaller version. He's honestly not in horrible shape. I mean, he needs definitely some cleaning, a good spa day, but he shouldn't be too awful at all. But look at him. I actually believe he was originally like a graduate owl. Um, I believe he had a little graduate or hat and a little diploma back in the day. So really sweet. I probably won't be restoring him like that. I'll probably just be fixing him up, kind of, you know, cleaning him up as he is. But uh, TikTok restoration on him coming soon, obviously. But yay, thank you so much. I'm so excited. So yeah, these two were... And here I am trying to get a thumbnail picture. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. And be sure to give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, I just hit a thousand followers over here, subscribers. So thank you guys so much, each one of you, uh, for subscribing, being here, hanging out, enjoying some vintage, uh, and just, you know, overall being kind and being here. So. Oh, my dog's, my dog has missed me over the past few days. Uh, she's kind of like right by me, kind of like glue. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. All of my links, of course, will be in the bio. So my Etsy shop, um, you know, whatnot, what have you. Uh, all of those links will be in the description. And if there is an item that you might be interested in with the exception of, you know, the Rushton Owl and the Twiggy case, give me a comment or a DM. Um, I'm happy to let you know if it's available or what have you, or, you know, if it's on Etsy, steer you in a direction. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and until the next one, bye.